everyone. Are you ready to find out what's happening in Artistry Sarasota and in the zip code 34240? Follow me, Laurie Manier, and I will show you what's happening. So we are going to go through the stats that uh, cover June of 2024, and I will give you an idea of what exactly you can expect to see and what is happening currently. Now, these, these are active listings in Artistry, Sarasota. This is a new home development. We're east of 75, and it is very highly coveted. We have HOA, but we do not have CDD, and we have a beautiful uh, a community building with a swimming pool and a uh, pickleball court for your use. So if you're interested in this neighborhood, the, the, these are the properties that are for sale right now. Please reach out to me in the comments below and I'm happy to show you any of these. And they are ranging from 1.1 up to 1.9 and ranging from three bedrooms to four bedrooms and three bed baths to five baths and the square footage anywhere from 3,000 square feet up to 4,100. Pending properties in June were all on Artisan Way. It was a popular road this month. And you can see that we have uh, pending properties anywhere from 1.2 million up to 1.6 million. And the range is three bedrooms to four bedrooms and three baths to four and a half baths which were 2,900 square feet and up to 3,600 square feet. Sold statistics. So this is what closed in the month of June. We had three closings, one on Pastel at 1.9, and I believe that was a record breaker for our neighborhood at $450 per square foot, which is a little high, but that house had a tremendous amount of upgrades and was just an amazing house. And then we have another one that closed at 857. That was a new build uh, with the builders that are in the neighborhood. And then we had one that closed for 1.1. Sold statistics. So I like to show it over the last six months so you can see the activity because it ebbs and flows and goes up and down. And in July, you can see what closed. We had th the three properties that I mentioned and the prior month was only two. So it gives you an idea of what's going on. So let's talk about 34240 and what's happening in this area. So this is a large area of coverage and we have every type of home and size of home in this area. So you can see the actives are 182 currently, and that's everything from $350,000 up to 4.8 million. So a lot of variety in what is sold in this zip code, but you can see here what's going on and the price per square foot. Then we go into pending, which are 33 that went under contract this month. And you can see the list price again, variety of list price. And then we go to sold or closed properties and they range in price as well with the sales price per square foot being pretty close to what they were listed at. And you can also see days to close, which we'll talk about in detail. So I wanted to share these statistics with you because it gives you a really good idea. Uh, these come from the Realtors Association and it gives you an idea of like a year over year comparison. So if we look at median time to contract and we're gonna look at this stat right here, it's towards the middle of the chart. You can see back in June of 2023, it was 23 days to contract and then right now it's about 50 days so if you're getting ready to put your home in the market be prepared for 50 days until it goes under contract and that's that again that's the median so it could be more or less and it'll just give you an idea of what you're up against 
Uh, the median price, sale price has come down. So I'm gonna show you median sale price. So you can see 495 and last year it was 522. So that's a 5.3% decrease in the median sales price. But what that means is that we're selling in the lower price ranges and we're not selling the luxury properties at quite as much. So it contrary to, to what news is saying and saying everything's crashing and the prices, and that is really not the case. So I wanted to have this chart at the bottom to show you how the median sale price goes up and down, and that's very typical. So you can see over 2021, 20, 22, 23, and now here we're in 24. And if you look all the way to the right, that's where we're at right now. You can see there's no major crash in prices. It's just a dip, which is typical if you look throughout the years. So don't panic. And then also a lot of homeowners still have a tremendous amount of equity in their homes because it went up so quickly. And uh, so you don't have to worry when you go to sell. So more inventory is actually affecting this. We have about five months worth of inventory right now versus what we had last year at two, three months about. And um, so what does that do for us? It, it makes the buyers hesitate and take a little bit more time because they have more to look at. And that's hence why the 50 days on the market. So take a look at all of these other stats they're really interesting to look at especially if you look at active inventory let's look at june of 23 1900 versus 3200 so that's a 65 percent increase in the number of listings that are on the market that's good for buyers so that they have more variety to choose from so in general, I like to show this. This is June of 24 and in Sarasota County, and you can see closed sales are down 10%. Median price is down 5%. The days to market is up at 50 days and the month supply is up at, at um, five months. And around six months, they say it's a balanced market, but currently we're finding that it's, it's very balanced we're seeing that price correction as we talked about, and that's due to the more inventory, but we're not seeing it um, spin one way or another or lean one way or another. So there is a noticeable decline in closed sales and median sales across both segments. And most likely that has to do with all of the news about the economy and the election and things like that. But in our area, you're going to see an increase in activity right away in September. And so be prepared for that. And then the market for single family homes in Sarasota County showed a decrease in demand with 692 closed sales, which is a 10% decrease, which we talked about. And then the median time to contract is the 50 days. So that's my update for 2024 and uh, the June report and, and July <laughs> sharing the stats with you. Here's my information. If you know anybody that's getting ready to sell or if they're getting ready to buy in this area and you need a really good realtor that will be able to help them navigate this market, I would love the opportunity to help them. Please reach out in the comments below and we will see you soon.